Hello, Lynn. Good, Good evening. Good evening. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. Great. Have you eaten dinner yet? I ate rice and chicken. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. What's the weather right now, Lynn? The weather is rainy. Oh, yeah. Same here in my place. How long has it been raining? Yet in this village, it's very, very rainy. Ah, yes. But how long has it been raining? Um, Here, it has been raining since 3 o'clock up until now. What about there? Uh, I think it's 3 or 2 o'clock. Up until now? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's really similar here. Anyway, Lynn, today it's going to be another topic for tonight. Look at the picture. What can you see in the picture, Lynn? Uh... I see uh, one girl have uh, uh, yeah the girl have work in a bound work and converse. Say that again, please. Confused. 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 Oh, the girl is confused. Okay. So, yes, by just looking at the picture, because the girl has so many things to do, then you said that she's confused. Okay, so what is the topic for today? Uh, the topic today is... Uh, mm, Uh, un concerned. 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 Ah, oh, okay. Thank you for that. The topic for today is all about stress. Since the girl has yes. so much things to do, okay, he she cannot handle it all. So she is confused and she is very stressed. So what is stress, Lean? Stress is uh, uh, there are many negative problems. That is right. Okay, it's like too much to handle, and we become stressed or we stress about it. Stress is when. There is so much pressure on you. You have to do the homework. You still have to have a presentation. You have to study. You have to pass this one. It's like too much to handle. Then we are stressed. Okay. So in here, let's look out with this listening. Tell me what are the words that you can hear and what have you understood with this one? Here it is, Lynn. Listen a minute. Dot com. Stress. Stress. Nasty thing. I hate being stressed, but I'm not sure why. The stress disappears and then everything is back to normal. I need to tell myself that the stressful situation will be over soon. I wonder if people are more stressed today than they were 100 years ago. I think they probably are. There are more things to get stressed about these days. Exams, money, jobs, trains, anything and everything. I get stressed when I have to meet a deadline and the time is running out. Fortunately, there are many things to do to get rid of stress. I reduce my stress by chatting with friends or going for a run. Life seems better then. Hmm, I wonder what will give me stress next. I'll get my running shoes ready so I can manage it. Okay, so what are the words that you've learned that you've heard from that one, Lynn? 
Stress. Stress. Very good. Okay, what is it all about? Uh, the people say, uh, stress because uh, the people have a lot of deadline, and that's right. The people. I don't know. I remember. Uh, they. Uh, they share a bond. They share about things stress and and um don't have they share about stress stress and ways to listen to the loud stress. All right. Thank you for that one, Lin. So this time, Lin, I want you to listen again, then read after. Here it is, Lin. Listen a minute. Yeah. Dot com. Stress. Stress. Nasty thing. I hate being stressed, but I'm not sure why. The stress disappears and then everything is back to normal. I need to tell myself that the stressful situation will be over soon. <laughs> I wonder if people are more stressed today than they were 100 years ago. I think they probably are. There are more things to get stressed about these days. Exams, money, jobs, trains, anything and everything. I get stressed when I have to meet a deadline and the time is running out. Fortunately, there are many things to do to get rid of stress. I reduce my stress by chatting with friends or going for a run. Life seems better then. Hmm, I wonder what will give me stress next. I'll get my running shoes ready so I can manage it. Yes. Okay. So, Liam, I want you to look and read this one. Stress. Stress. Stress nasty things. I hate being stressed, but I'm not sure why. The stress disappears and then everything is back to normal. I need to tell myself that the stressful situation will be over soon. I wonder if people are more stressed today than they were 100 years ago. I think they probably that I think they probably are they are more things to get straight about these days. Exams, money, jobs, trends, anything and everything. I get straight but I get stressed when I have to meet a deadline and the time is running out for Fortunately, there are many things to do to get rid right, of stress. I reduce my stress by chatting, chatting with friends or going for a run. Life seems better than, hmm, I wonder what will give me stress next. I will get my running shoes. Read it so I can manage it. Very good. Thank you so much for reading this one, Lin. So far, so good. All pronunciations and intonations are correct. Now, this time, let's learn the words. So, first phrase we have in here, nasty thing. Okay, so when we say nasty thing, that means that something happened and it's not so good. It's not pleasant to see. It's like a bad thing. That is nasty thing. Example, cleaning up after the party was a nasty thing to do. So what is your sentence, Lean? My house is dirty and I feel very nasty thing. Okay, thank you for that one. So let me help you on how to revise your sentence. You can say, 
My house is very dirty. And it is. And cleaning it up. It, and cleaning it is a nasty thing. My house is very dirty and cleaning it is a nasty thing. Very good. Okay. Now, next we have in here back to normal. So, when we say back to normal, that means it's back to the regular or to the usual things that happened. Okay. So, here, um, example, after COVID-19, everything went back to normal. Because during COVID-19, it was lockdown. We cannot go out. We have to wear face masks, face shields, everything else. And we also have social distancing. But after COVID, it went back to normal. Everything's regular now, like that. So what's your sentence, Lynn? Mm. Uh, the story defense. Uh, mm. Everything can return. Everything can back to normal. Because, Very good. Uh, yes, everything uh. is. Everything, everything is back to normal. That's right. <laughs> yeah, if you say everything is back to normal, that's already a complete sentence. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> okay, so thank you for that, Lynn. And next we have in here, meet a deadline. Okay, when we say that you are going to meet a deadline, that means you're going to finish the task before well, before the due date of it. Due date means the deadline. For example, I have to finish this homework to meet a deadline. So what's your sentence? Uh, my, my class... Uh, My my class requires me to meet a deadline. Very good. My class requests me to meet a deadline. Nice. Now next time is running out. When we say that time is running out, that means we don't have much time to lose. Or the time is very limited and it's almost gone. For example, um, we really need to hurry up because the time is running out to submit the scholarship application like that. Or another example, the time is running out. Hey, we have to catch the bus by five o'clock. So we have to hurry up. The time is running out like that. So what's your sentence, Lynn? I don't have a sentence. It's all right. So, but do you understand the time is running out? No. Ah, okay. So in here, when we say time is running out, this means, okay, there is very little time left for example our class will end at nine o'clock right but the time now is uh, 8 58 8 58 then i'm gonna tell you i'm lean i'm so sorry the time is running out so we have to say goodbye that means there is very time very little time left because we only have two minutes left like that is that clear now? Oh, here, when we say 9 o'clock, this is the end of our class. 
Then the time now, this is only an example. Time right now. Okay, so how much time left do we have? Left? Okay, we only have two minutes left. So I would say, I'm lean. I'm so sorry because the time is running. So we have to say goodbye like that. So that means the time is running out means there is very little time left. Is that clear? Okay, so can yeah. you make your sentence? Uh, the time is spent. I don't have a sentence. It's all right. Let me help you. You can say it like this, that. Hey. The time is running out. Let's hurry to go to school like that. Can you please read? Hey, the time is running out. Let's hurry to go to school. Yeah, so do you understand now? Yes. Great. And we have in here, get rid of stress. When we get rid of stress, that means we escape from it or we reduce the stress in our life. For example, one thing that I do to get rid of stress is to spend time at the beach. What's your sentence? Um, uh, get rid of stress. Uh, music has helped me get rid of stress. Very good. That's a great example. Nice, Lynn. Now, next we have here, reduce stress. It's the same thing with get rid of stress or relieve stress. Okay, that means we are going to lessen the amount of stress that we feel. That means relieve or to ease stress that we have. Example. Okay. Um, regular exercise can help to reduce stress what's your sentence every outing has helped me reduce reduce stress very good okay now next we have get my running shoes ready this means that you're going to Prepare a pair of shoes to run. Example, I need to get my running shoes ready for the morning jog. So what's your sentence? Mm. My mother get my running shoes ready tomorrow. Very good. Okay, how many pairs of running shoes do you have, Lynn? I have three running shoes. Wow, that's nice. Okay, now next we have stressful. Stressful. Okay, when we say stressful, that means it's causing so much stress. For example, um, the job interview was very stressful. And I felt stress whole day. What's your sentence? Hmm. Um. Uh, don't be 
too stressful because everything is back to normal. Wow, that's so nice. Thank you for that, Lynn. Okay, now next we have here under stress. If you are under stress, you are under pressure. You have so much on your plate and you cannot take it all in. Example, um, she's under stress. That's why she's out of her mind. <laughs> What's your sentence? Under stress, she's uh, safe, safe for stress. And I don't know what example, example, I say with me. Or I can help you with example. You can say that she, she performs well, even that she is under stress. Like this. She performs well even that she's under stress. When you have when you are under stress, you are uh you have so much pressure in you. She performs well even that she's under stress. That's right. Okay, and we have here suffer from stress. Okay, when we suffer from stress, that means we have to go through with the stress. Okay, how do we suffer from stress? Sometimes we don't like to eat. Or sometimes we like to eat so much. Stress eating. Or sometimes we just sleep like that. We don't do anything. We are very unproductive. That's how we suffer from stress. Okay, so uh, my sentence is... Oh. I used to suffer from stress because of my heavy workload. What's your sentence? I suffer from stress because uh, I suffer from stress because I look very big. <laughs> oh, but you're not big. How much do you weigh? Uh, I have fifty. Uh, hmm. Fifty-five kilogram. And how old are you? I'm twelve old. Twelve years old. Yes. And how how tall are you? Uh is one meter five. One meter and five. Oh yeah. You can you're not so big, but you really have to reduce <laughs> uh from eat uh, you have to lessen from eating so much carbohydrates, especially rice, because rice is one thing that makes us uh fat easily. I used to be like that, Lynn. I eat so much rice, chocolates, um, noodles, but I didn't get anything from it. The only thing that I get is fat. That's why <laughs> I went to the gym, I work out, and that's the time that I lose weight. Right now, yes. I am 53 kilogram. Like that. Okay, so from 60, I used to be 60, 60 kilogram, then down to 53. I, I lost 7 kilogram. Yes, wow. if I can do it, if I can do it, you can also do it <laughs> because you are so young. Okay, now next we have here experience a high level of stress. When we experience a high level of stress, that means we have to go through a period with so much stress like for example during my master's program i experienced a high level of stress <laughs> what's your sentence mm -hmm. 
Uh, in during exam season, I have experienced a high level of stress. Say that again. During exam seasons. Here. Yeah. Uh, uh, listen. Uh, okay. During exam season. Ah, during, during the exam season. Very good. I experience a high oh, level of stress. Very good. Okay, now lastly, we have cope with stress. That means how you handle stress. For example, uh, one thing that I do to cope with stress is to work out and go to the gym. What's your sentence? Uh, I cope with stress because uh, I have an exam, I have a homework, and I have a level high. Very good. Okay, thank you for that, Lynn. So, Lynn, do you have any question about the words and phrases here? No, I don't have question. Great. Now, I'm going to ask you, according to the man, why do people nowadays get more stressed than they were in the past? Uh, I think it's money. And Very good. Uh, men usually... Uh, my my father say how to make a lot of money. Mm. It is a threat of men. Ah, oh, yes. So in here, according to the man, there are more things to get stressed about these days. We have exams, money, jobs, trains, anything and everything. So yeah, that's a lot. Okay. So last question, uh, how does the man cope with stress? How does the man cope with stress? Uh, the man cope with stress. Be, uh, 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 I think it's free with relatives and uh, uh, share with love, share with your loved ones and other ways to relax. Yes, very good. So the man co uh, cope with stress by talking to her or to his friends. Okay, so here, what do you think of this one? It's not stress that kills us. It is our reaction to it. This is according to Hanselia. What do you mean by that? Uh, it's not stress that kills. Do you have any thought about it, Lean? No, I think it's a um, here, yeah. uh, how 
is advice to people. Oh yeah, it is an advice to people. So actually, stress is not very harmful. It's how we deal with it that kills us. Because sometimes we don't know how to deal with stress and it comes to the point where it affects our health and even well-being. So once stress affects our health and well-being, then this is the time that the stress might kill us because stress sometimes will lead to this depression if you don't know how to handle it very well. So here, um, one thing that I could say about it is we really have to properly manage um, the stressors in our life. If we know that one thing stresses us, then just let go of it <laughs> or don't think about it like that because it's really up to you on how you live your life. Yes. Okay. So the most important thing is how to deal with stress. So Lynn, do you have any question? No, I don't have a question. Okay. So thank you so much for joining our class for tonight. Okay, so I hope you learned something and see you tomorrow. Bye bye, Lynn. Yes, bye, teacher. Bye bye. Bye. Good evening. <laughs> Good night. Bye.